Welcome to the Purdue Libraries tutorial on the Rocks Back Pages database. This tutorial will cover an overview of the database, how to narrow down search results, and other helpful tools. You may wonder why you should use Rocks Back Pages database. This database is an archive of popular music journalism for the last 60 years. It features more than 50,000 articles on various genres, including punk, rock, R&B, and more. These articles are fully searchable by author, artist, publication, genre, and keywords. There's also a vast collection of audio recordings. To get started, let's go to the Purdue Library's website at www.lib.purdue.edu. Next, click on the database link underneath the search box. This will link to a full list of databases available through the Purdue Library's website. To find Rock's back pages, go to the R section, scroll down to the title, and click on the link. So let's take a look at the main page. You may notice that this looks completely different from other commonly used databases. However, it does have some similar features like basic searching, which they call quick search, and advanced searching. You can also find items by clicking on one of the links in the archive section on the menu bar to the left side of the screen. For our search today, we will use the basic search to look for an article on Smokey Robinson. This will bring back over 500 results. While this isn't an unmanageable number to go through, we can still narrow them down to get more specific results. If you look to the right of the list of articles, you will see two boxes. The top box will allow you to narrow it down by specific artists mentioned. The second will allow you to select from a list of categories. For instance, you can narrow the search down by subject slash genre, publication, the piece type, and more. For today, we are going to narrow our search down to interviews in the genre of funk and R&B. From here, you can review the list of items to see which will help with your research. Once you find what you are looking for, click on the title to open the item. What will appear is just the text of the article. However, if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll see additional links to the articles that relate to the one you are currently reviewing. In addition to that, you will find a citation generator. One last tip. The Rocks Back Pages also hosts a podcast that is released every two weeks. This podcast highlights new items added to the archives and an excerpt from a recently added audio interview. This is a great way to keep up to date with the resources that are added to this database. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. If you are looking for other databases similar to the Rocks Back Pages, here are a couple to try.